Okay, so today I'm going to be talking about photoperiod and mares. Uh, so first you have to understand what photoperiod is. Uh, the definition is the period of time per day that an organism is exposed to daylight. Uh, the amount of light that an animal receives affects various aspects of reproduction. Uh, usually when talking about photoperiod, it's designated numerically um, by numbers. So an example is like 15, 9. 15 is hours of daylight to 9 hours of darkness, and it will always add up to 24. The next important topic to understand is biological rhythms. Um, this can be divided into daily and annual rhythms. Uh, daily rhythms are circadian, meaning, meaning they're every 24 hours, while annual rhythms are circa-annual, meaning every 365 days. Um, mares are seasonal breeders, which means they mate at a certain time of the year. They can either be short day or long day breeders. Short day are sexually active in the fall or winter, an example are sheep or goats. And long day are sexually active in the spring or summer, with examples as horses and hamsters. So this is timed out for birthing rather than breeding. Um, the, they breed to have their offspring at a certain time so that the foal has the best chance of survival, that's like if they were in the wild. Um, the reproductive cycle of the mare is also very important to understand. Mares are seasonally polyesterous and long day breeders, as I said before. Um, anesterous is when the ovaries are inactive and the uterus lacks tones, and there's also no corpus luteum or CL, and this is typically in the winter months. Then the mare usually goes through a transition stage, which is when ovulation does not occur. Um, this stage ends when there's a surge of LH or luteinizing hormone, and that marks the end of the transition period. Then the mare will go into estrus, which is a period of sexual um, receptivity and fertility. Mares ovulate every 21 days, and the length of estrus is 2 to 8 days, and the gestation period is 11 months. So how does light affect reproduction? Melatonin is a protein hormone produced by the brain and the pineal gland and is frequently called the hormone of darkness. Melatonin is inhibited by light, so levels are higher during periods of darkness. Therefore, day length is trans translated into a hormone signal. Melatonin prevents the release of GnRH or gonadotropin releasing hormone, and that hormone controls the reproductive cycle. So in essence, more light equals less melatonin, higher GnRH levels, so that stimulates the ovaries. Uh, this was a diagram I found that I just thought I did a good job of like um, showing exactly how the light affects the eye, eye and then the brain and the pineal gland and melatonin. Um, and then it kind of breaks down all of the different hormones that have been involved in estrus and diestrus. Um, so, manipulation of estrus in the mares. The estrus cycle in mares can be manipulated um, various ways, one of which being with light. Uh, they naturally will start um, cycling in the spring, but the onset of the breeding season can be accelerated by manipulating the photoperiod of the mare. So, 16 hours of light per day for 8 to 10 weeks prior to when you want to start breeding. So, if you want to breed mid-February, then you need to start exposing to light by the beginning of December. Um, artificial or supplemental light must be at dusk to be effective because that's the natural, like that is the extra light per cycle. Um, lights can be on timers to automatically come on and off at certain times as well. There's various sources of supplemental light. There can be individual lights in the stalls for each mare or group lighting in paddocks so that you can do more mares at one time. There's also new products that are light masks, and it's called an Equilume. And this is like, they have both masks and stable lights. The mask is that picture up there, and um, it's a timed low level blue light to one eye when using the mask. And it can be worn at any time in any type of housing so that mares can be kept on pasture and it decreases labor needs and um, cost of maintenance and such. So you can, only one eye. Yeah, it's only one so eye. So it's effective with just one eye. Yeah. Wow. Okay. And those are my references. Mm.